Hi there, in this video we're going to take a look at the Match It game, which is found in Applications. Scroll down under Games and find Match It. Click on that. And before we start, let's look at the demo so you can see how this works from a user perspective. So I click on Play, it loads the game, and this is Match Items from the same collection. So. Uh, I guess that's not right. Uh, my, my guys gotta get my eyes adjusted to this. There we go, now it's working. Mm, I don't know what that one is, but I know that this one and this one are. These two. Are. I guess that and that goes. There we go. So it shows the score. I hit continue, and then I submit. And then there's a thank you page at the end where you can give out a coupon, specific information, lead them to a different download or to a website. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to build this in minutes. Inside your Easy Promos platform, click on Create a New Promotion. You'll see that same list of promotions that we just saw. Click on Match It. Select the brand that you've set up in your account and the plan in this case, I'm going to go with white label. This has now created uh, a uh, draft match it game inside my dashboard. And I can choose to activate the promotion, but I think first I need to edit this to personalize it to my company. And so here's the default look that um, was produced by creating the campaign. And I'm just going to go through and change those settings. So I'm going to start off on the welcome page and you can see on the left hand side here I'm on the welcome page. I'm going to swap out this logo with uh, with the logo I have here on file. Excellent. I'm going to save that. And I would of course type in the kind of information that I want to represent my campaign. Then I'm going to go to the match it page and I want to change the background here. That's a nice looking background. Let's go with the one that I have for this particular campaign. Click on backgrounds and I want the one for the match it. So this is the game background, not the promotion background. So I'm going to click on that, that loads and I save that. Now I want to upload my own match it images. So I remove those and I add my images. So I click on this and I have on my computer the cards that I want to upload and so I want to upload this one and this one and then add new match I'll just keep on doing that add new match Okay, so I have those loaded, and if I go to uh, Game Play Settings, I can change this from Columns to a Mixed Look. And I think uh, I'll go back to the Columns in this case. And I can set a time restriction. I can limit the moves. And I don't want people to register until they've completed the game. So I'm going to save those settings. And then I'm just going to go to the instructions, and I could upload... Uh, instructions here. This would be to give people a clue. I'm going to look at the score screen and I'm going to leave that for now. I could test the game if I wanted to. So here's what it looks like. There we go. So now we move on to the registration form and you're going to add the elements that you want to ask for on the registration form. So you can add things like an additional text field if you want information that can't be found in these specific fields like birthday and phone, gender, that sort of thing. Uh, and of course you will put in your own disclaimer here. Uh, then we go make sure you save that. There are some other options here. Maximum number of users for example. Uh, and then we'll save that. We'll then go to the uh, thank you page and we'll swap out that logo again. Our 
background image, uh, which we'll do in the design uh, area. We'll retype the information here that we want to place on this page. There are some options as well. We'll just take a quick look at the ranking. We could change that logo out. We'll, we'll go down to the dates. Here we can set the time zone and the, and the start uh, and finish dates uh, for viewing the campaign and for entering the campaign. And then let's, uh, if we wanted to add restrictions, we could by country or age. We'll go to design and here uh, we would make some changes to make sure that it is reflective of our campaign. But first let's put in the background. So we're going to delete this uh, default background that we have here. And then I go back to my computer and find the backgrounds. And I want this one here, the promotion background. And that, there we go. So I want to save that. And that's now going to be on all the pages other than the game page. Once you're satisfied with the design, you go to the prize area and you would create the types of prizes that you want to give away. For example, I would want to give away uh, a prize on a random draw at the end of the campaign. So I just title my prize, the number of units that I'm giving away, and I create that prize. And here's the prize, and I can further edit this. Uh, I could attach it to a promotion code if I wanted to. In this case, I'm not going to. So I'll save that. And then for the rest of the camp, for the rest of the campaign, there's the legal content. You can look at my networks for uh, people to follow, and then the sharing capabilities. These are standard features in all the different campaigns, um, which are in our tutorials, and. You can work with code sets if you want to, if you are giving out multiple prizes in this case. But now that I'm done in the editor, I'm going to exit that. If we want to set up emails, for example, we can do that. If I want to put this uh, on my website instead of it being on the microsite, I go to Publish and I click into Widget, and I can grab that widget code and place it on my website. Simple as that. So I will click out of here, and there are stats that you can... I look into here and when you have participants you can click here and see all the data on your participants and that is pretty much it if I go back to the top I can activate the promotion or enable it in test mode so I enable and then I can share that out with a, a colleague or I can just click here and go and experience it myself so I go to the play and I'm just waiting for it to load, and here we go. Uh, where is that one here? You can tell that it arranged them differently than what we saw in the previous backend. There we go. So, time to create your own. Have a lot of fun. Bye for now.